So there it is, the box made with only a utility knife. This was an experiment that happened to work. I could see something like this totally catching on. You could use foam core or cardboard. So if you do try to make something like this, please tweet at me or tag me in your Instagram post or your Facebook post. I would love to see this type of project just take off and people run with it because all you really need is a utility knife, a straight edge, some sandpaper definitely helps too. It looks like a real wooden box. When you pick it up, it's a little weird. It's, it's super light, so you're, 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 your brain is kind of confused at first. But 
It was super fun. Uh, I think I could get really crazy and uh, do different colored veneers and kind of um, do some marquetry for, for the top. If you have a laser cutter, you could do some really cool stuff. Or uh, I haven't tried it, but maybe you could run veneers through like a little vinyl cutter, like a silhouette or a cameo that crafters use um, to make your pieces that would fit together. I know this isn't going to last forever, and that's not the point of this project. The point of this project is to show you that you don't need all kinds of fancy tools. You can do a lot with just a utility knife. And this will last a good long time. Now, you're not gonna be able to stand on it. Of course, it will collapse. I did put some feet on, on the bottom here, uh, just little rubber feet that I stuck on there. Got some, uh, handle hardware from my local home center. So the main construction of this box is just half inch thick foam core that I got from my local craft store, Michael's. The bottom of it is this inch thick foam core and that's also the, the part underneath the lid that helps it fit inside the box. For the veneer, I'm using this paper back veneer. This is walnut. Uh, this comes from my local hardwood dealer, KenCraft. If you're going to do this, you have to use the paper back veneer because it's nice and flat. Regular veneer that you get that doesn't have the paper back is going to be very wavy and it's not going to stick to the foam core very well. Or if it does, it's going to warp your foam core. I started off gluing everything with Super 77 spray adhesive and I found that wasn't working very well. So I moved up to the 3M High Strength 90 spray adhesive and that worked just great. I did have to repair a couple little corners with some CA glue where the Super 77 kind of came undone or I just didn't have enough spray adhesive in those particular points. I flocked the inside which is all it is is like this black glue and some black fiber that you blow on there and you can get it in different colors so you can get like green or blue. I am using this little mini flocker basically this is just a can with holes in it. And then for the finish, I use boiled linseed oil. I was a little bit worried that it was going to soak through the veneer and get on the paper and cause the paper to do weird things. It didn't. Just to be safe, you might wanna use a spray lacquer instead. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, so if you don't know, I have written two books. One is called The New Bandsaw Box Book. There are eight bandsaw box projects in the book. And then I have another book on cutting boards. This is the only book out there that you will find dedicated to just cutting boards. I have both of these available on my website at makesomething.tv. I also do a podcast with Jimmy DeResta and Bob Cleggett every week. Every Friday we put out a new episode. It's an audio only podcast and we talk about whatever is on our minds. It could be CNC's or lasers or woodworking or metalworking. A lot of times we talk about the, the mental struggles that we deal with in the shop. We talk about where creativity comes from. So check that out at makingitpodcast.com. I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you like this video, share it with somebody that you know that might get some enjoyment out of it. All right, folks, that is it. We'll see you in a few days. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. <laughs>